Hi, Chris here. And in this video, I'm just gonna quickly show you how you can get your electric bike into the home repair stand. Cause I know these things are super hard to lift and there is an easier way to do it. So I'm gonna show you that right now. One thing that can definitely help reduce the weight of the bike a little bit is if you remove the battery first. So here's how you remove the battery in the electric XP. So in order to get the battery out of the electric XP, there's a couple of things you need to do. First, on the side that you, you plug the charger into, you need to make sure that that little, this little rubber plug right here is popped out. The battery won't come out if that's still plugged in. Then you need to go ahead and fold the bike in half. So undo this little latch by pushing this forward, flipping that latch back. And at this stage, I usually put the kickstand up because the bike won't fold in half with the kickstand down. So now that you've got it this far, just gently fold it in half to the wheels all the way back and you can set it on the ground. It has this little plate underneath it here that'll hold it up. Now that you've gotten it to this point, underneath here, you need to push the key in and turn it all the way. And then you have to actually take the key out and then the battery will slide right out. This battery, I think it weighs about six or seven pounds. So removing this will help it make it a lot easier to get the bike up into the stand. And then once you have the battery out, you just need to fold the bike back and latch this down. And then you can put the kickstand back down. And now the, the bike will be a bit lighter and easier to lift into the stand. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is on the back here, you can loosen it up and this rotates. So we just wanna make this nice and level and then cinch this back down so that that's in there nice and tight. And then we wanna open up this little clamp till it's just a little bigger than the seat post on the bike. Now for me, since I'm taller, I have this clamp up pretty high, but you don't need to work on your bike way up in the air. You can work on it much lower and use like a stool. I'll leave a link to the shop stool that I use at the bike shop uh, in the description below. And all you need to do to lower it is just turn this knob in the back and just bring this down quite a bit. And then just make sure that this is nice and snug back here. Then just go over to your bike here and lower the seat post a bit. You need to leave enough seat post left that you can fit it in the clamp, but you can bring this down quite a bit. And then cinch that seat collar down nice and tight so that's not gonna move. Now you just wanna position your bike so it's the seat post is directly below the clamp here. And then all you need to do is lift just enough to set it in the clamp and it'll balance itself on the seat clamp up here and you can even like let it go. But at this point, then you can just tighten this down the rest of the way. And then it's all snug in the stand. And you can actually just use a stool around the side of it. You don't need to have this way up in the air to work on it. I use a stool all the time at the bike shop. No big deal. This just keeps it nice and lower to the floor. I'm only about a foot or so off the floor here, which is plenty to remove the wheels or work on any of this stuff. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. See you on the next one.